Berlin String Special Bows 1 gives you high strings playing with specific and slightly unusual playing techniques. The instruments were recorded with the same configuration as the main Berlin Strings collection, and as you might already expect, the low strings are contained in the Special Bows 2 collection. Although these techniques are considered non-standard, the resulting sound here is definitely not just for special occasions. By using these playing styles creatively, you effectively get a string ensemble that offers a sound very different to your regular strings. We're proud to say that the special bows have become something of a secret weapon for many composers. We're going to start with saltesto. This means the player is using the bow just over the end of the fingerboard. The result is a much softer, warmer sound. Now, especially for melodic playing, the sign player comes into its own. You can play different articulations with legato transitions and switch between them, even within a phrase. For the saltesto playing style, we have basically four options, a soft or a normal attack for the sustained notes and a short or long portato. Now let's use the soft sustain for the beginning of our phrase and switch between the portados and the standard sustain, depending on the intended note lengths and expression. At the same time, we'll use the mod wheel to shape the overall dynamic expression. The second playing technique of Berlin String Special Bows 1 is Sol Ponticello. Here, the player bows the strings near the bridge, which makes the sound cold, fragile, and very overtone heavy, with the effect increasing the closer the bow gets to the bridge. This technique is mostly used for special effect, but we recorded legato here as well. Next up is flagiolet. When the finger touches the strings only slightly on certain points, a certain harmonic of that string sounds. This articulation sounds particularly clean and soft, almost glass-like, when playing in the highest violin register. For both Berlin string special bows one, we recorded sustained notes, tremolo, and shorts. You also get a short collegno articulation, which is performed with the back of the bow hitting the strings. It sounds rather thin and bright on the violins and violas, but can be a very powerful sound on the lower strings. Make sure to watch the Special Bows 2 video for that.
The Special Bows use the exact same recording setup as the Berlin series, just like all the other orchestral tools collections recorded at Teldex Studios in Berlin. This means that all these collections work well together and sound perfectly balanced right out of the box. It also means you get consistent multiple mic positions across collections. Let's listen to them individually while taking a look at the Sign Mixer, which allows you to dial in your own mixes as you like. We start with the main mic position, which is the Deca Tree. This is also loaded by default. Above the tree, we have a pair of Omni mics in an A-B configuration, which captures a slightly more ambient and warmer impression of the room. These AB Omni mics are specifically intended to be blended with the tree. Let's listen to the Omnis on their own and then mixed with the tree mics. For each string section, we have an appropriate setup of spot mics. These are pre-mixed so that the sound comes more to the front and gains more detail overall. For the first violins, we also have an additional spot microphone for the leader. Finally, for your rear channels and for the most diffused ambient sound possible, we have a pair of surround mics placed far apart and high above the Deca tree. Thanks for watching this overview screencast. Make sure to also check out the video for Berlin Strings Special Bows 2 for the lower string sections. And if you'd like to hear all those sections on their own, please also check out the single instrument audio demos provided on the Instruments page of Berlin Strings Special Bows.